Okay, um, welcome back. Um, what we're going to do, try and do, is we're going to explain how we get copper formed at um, the negative electrode and how we get chlorine gas formed at the positive electrode. So I've got my um, copper chloride solution. You saw it in the video. It's a blue solution. Um, and copper chloride is CuCl2. That's the formula of copper chloride. Now, going back to our knowledge of ionic compounds, we know that copper chloride is ionic. I don't write down the ions in the formula, but it contains... Uh, chlorine has got to be 1 minus, so copper has got to be 2 plus. It contains copper 2 plus ions, so Cu2 plus. Um, there we go, there's a copper 2 plus ion, and it contains two chloride ions, so Cl1 minus um, 2, Cl1 minus. So that's my view. And those ions are free to move. And um, we know that we saw. Um, a build-up of copper metal around the positive electrode, uh, around the negative electrode. There's my copper metal being formed. And we also saw that there were bubbles of um, chlorine gas being formed at the positive electrode. Now that is because copper ions are attracted to the negative electrode. Chloride ions are attracted to the positive electrode. Now, what you have to understand is that at the electrodes, chemical reactions happen. And those chemical reactions involve electrons. And we call those reactions half equations. Now, the negative electrode is negative because it contains lots and lots of electrons. And what happens in the electrical circuit is that electrons flow from the positive electrode to the negative electrode. So the negative electrode is negative because it has lots and lots of electrons and the positive electrode is positive because it lacks electrons. Now what happens is that my copper ions are attracted to my negative electrode where they gain electrons and they turn back into copper atoms and that's why I get my deposit of copper atoms, of copper metal. Because copper metal is copper atoms, it's not copper ions. I get my deposit of copper atoms formed at the electrode. Now, going from ions to atoms is the reverse of what we've done so far. Because what you've done so far is you've talked about making ions from atoms. When you were first introduced to ions, you said, you know, this is a magnesium atom. It's got two electrons in group two. It's got two electrons in its outer shell. It loses those two electrons because it doesn't want to have two electrons in its outer shell. And it forms a two plus ion without any electrons in its outer shell. Now, what, what happens here is the reverse. We go from the ion to the atom. And you're going to have a go at a worksheet in a moment where you look at going from atoms to ions. So, um, sorry, from ions to atoms. So what happens is that the copper 2 plus ion is attracted to the negative electrode where it gains electrons and turns back into an atom. And we can write that out as an equation and it's Cu2 plus has got to turn into Cu. And it does that by gaining two electrons. So it's plus two electrons on this side. Okay, Cu2 plus plus two electrons goes to give Cu. Now on this side, I've got Cl minus, and that's got to turn into Cl atom. And in order to do that, it's got to lose an electron. So I can write minus an electron on this side. I could write plus an electron on that side. It's the same thing. Now, the confusing thing about chlorine is that as the atom, it doesn't go around singly. It goes around in pairs. So I need to make Cl2. 
so I need to take two Cl minuses, I need to minus two electrons, and I need to make Cl2. Now, that gives me my two half equations. And if I look over on the next um, page, I've got those two half equations. So I've got Cu2 plus, plus two electrons goes to give Cu metal. And I've got two Cl minus, minus two electrons goes to give Cl2 gas. So at my negative electrode, I'm adding electrons to my copper ions to make copper metal. And at my positive electrode, I'm subtracting electrons, I'm taking electrons away from chloride ions to make chlorine gas. The confusing bit here is that chlorine gas goes around in pairs, so I need two chloride ions. Now, there's one other thing that you need to know and that is these words oxidation and reduction and there's a simple mnemonic to remember it oxidation is loss uh, it's oil rig oxidation is loss reduction is gain and that's of electrons okay so oxidation is the loss of electrons reduction is the gain of electrons so if I go back to um, my half equations, copper 2 plus is gaining electrons. So we say that the copper ions are reduced to copper metal. And in the chloride ions, the chloride ions lose electrons and so they are oxidised to chlorine gas. My chloride ions are oxidised to chlorine gas. So what you need to be able to do is for different electrolytes, you need to be able to write the equations that are happening at the electrodes. So to do that, you need to identify the ions that that electrolyte contains. You need to identify what electrodes they move to. And then you need to be able to write these half equations at each electrode. And you need to identify those equations as oxidation or reduction. Now, you always get reduction, the gain of electrons at the negative electrode, and you get oxidation at the positive electrode. But the easiest way to remember it is just to remember that mnemonic. Oxidation is the loss of electrons. Reduction is the gain of electrons. Now, what we're going to do, just to prove that you've understood this, is that we've got, I've got a couple of worksheets. Um, the first one is... Um, having some practice we're going to draw out electron structures again of ions and we're going to show them turning into atoms because that's the process that you need to be able to write half equations for we'll then have some practice looking at some different electrolytes um, and fill out a worksheet um, looking at different electrolytes and writing half equations for different electrolytes. So um, once you've finished um, this, have a look at those two worksheets. I'll do answer copies of those two worksheets. Please don't just copy out the answer copies. Have a go at those worksheets um, by yourself, first of all, and use the um, answer copies to green pen them afterwards. Look, I hope um, that's understood. I've got, gone through it quite slowly. There are other videos on YouTube. Um, that Primrose Kitten one, um, there's some, I'll, I'll put a link to another one on there as well. It's really important that you try your hardest to understand these processes that are happening in electrolysis. Um, we're going to build on this knowledge because this is only one type of electrolysis. 
but um, if you can if you can crack these half equations, then um, you've made you've made really good progress this lesson. So um, good luck with that. I'll see you all next lesson.